Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of 5 Minute Machine Learning. Today we play with simple linear regression, mean square error, and r square in Python. If you like short machine learning videos, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Alright, the module we're going to use today is the linear model module from sklearn. Let's bring that. Now let's create some data point that forms a perfect line on the training set so that we know exactly how the prediction is going to be on the test data set. Alright, next we create a linear model object and then we fit the training data set on this object and use this fitted object to predict on the test data set. We print the coefficient which is the slope of the fitted line. We print the mean squared error, which is the average of the squared error on the test data set against the prediction. And then we also print the R square value. Let's plot it. The slope is half. The mean square error is 0.2. The R square value is 0.7. Okay, so how do we get this point to? What does this mean square error mean here? So it simply means the average of the squared error from each data point to the predicted line. So here, we, as you can see here, we manually, we deliberately changed a data point so that it does not lie on the predicted line. So the difference between this data point, which is seven, and then our predicted line is 1. So the square value of it is 1. And for the other data points, the values are all zeros. So the mean of the squared error is 0.2 in our case. is 1 over 5, which is 0.2. The coefficient of determination, which is our r squared, is 0.7. Now how, how do we get that number? 0.7 is simply 1 minus the portion that is not explainable by the regression line, which is one minus sum of square of residuals over the total sum of squares. So in our case, the sum of squares of residuals is one, and the total sum of squares is just the sum of the squares for each data point minus its mean. Now we can validate that number using this formula. So here we're just looking at the difference of the actual test data set and the predicted data set, we square it and take the mean of it. And it is indeed 0.2. For the R square, it is 1 minus the sum of squares of residuals over the total sum of squares. And if you look at this term, it is just the, the difference of the actual and the predicted value take the square of it and then you sum it and if you look into the denominator it's just the square of the actual y minus its mean value sum it up and if you run this 0.7 it is indeed our r square value i hope you find it helpful and as always thanks for watching